Begin with the latest from court as a Marine learned his fate for driving under the influence and killing a child. It happened last year in Oceanside. A 12 year old boy was killed. Our Zara Barker starts us off live outside the Vista Courthouse with today's sentencing. Zara. Maria, that Marine was sentenced just moments ago inside of this Vista courthouse. He was sentenced to spend the next 13 years and eight months behind bars, seemingly all part of a plea deal. Now today we also heard from the victim's mother grieving the loss of her young son. I will never see my child again. 12 year old Santiago Gaspar's mother giving one last statement to the judge in honor of her son as his killer was sentenced Wednesday. Your situation in your case is one in which this was a crime that obviously did not have to occur. Marine Edward Minot Jr. was ordered to spend the next 13 years and eight months in prison after he was driving under the influence with no headlights and sped off when police tried to stop him, then hitting a vehicle on Surfrider Way in Oceanside last July. Inside the car he hit was 12 year old Santiago Gaspar and his family, who had just finished watching fireworks on the 4th of July. There's a very empty uh, space in my heart along with his other brothers que nunca se va a and they will never be replaced. An emotional afternoon inside the Vista courtroom as Santiago's family remembered his desire to always help people, how he loved going to church and playing soccer and how he dreamed of becoming a police officer one day. The family is devastated. Uh, they'll never be the same, but hopefully uh, this hearing here can bring them a little bit of closure. My client would like to express his deepest sympathies to the family. Minot Jr., a North Carolina native, was stationed at Camp Pendleton when the deadly crash happened. In court Wednesday, the judge said he had a history of alcohol related offenses in the Marines. These cases happen all too frequently, and the worst part of it is that they're entirely preventable. And Santiago's family, obviously very emotional leaving that courtroom today. They declined to comment after the sentence sentencing today. I also reached out to Camp Pendleton officials, and I'm waiting to hear back. Reporting live in Vista, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News. All right, Zara starting us off.